Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We're going to continue on with our uh, ideas of hero text suggestions. And here's another one I found. is I've got to thank uh, Hakam Abdullah for this one. I hope I pronounced your uh, name correctly there. It's on CodePen. I'll drop this link below this video so you can see it. And it's got this cool text with an animated GIF behind it, which is, you know, pretty, pretty eye catching and nice thing to have somewhere on your site, whether it's in a section or whether it's in your hero element at the top. It's going to catch people's attention. Really easy to employ. He's given us all the code here, the HTML and the CSS. So let's build this into a bootstrap site quickly. So I'm going to open my brackets text editor software. This is free and you can download it from a link below this video as well. If you want to learn more about coding with Bootstrap, take one of our courses that are below this video. So I'm going to open this. I'm going to create a new Bootstrap template. Here we are. Simple as that. And I'll save this. And we want to just save it, whatever you want to call it. I'll call it GIF and it's an HTML document. So we've got to save it as an HTML, save that. There it is saved in the folder. And all we need to do is double click on it and it'll open in our browser there. This is what it gives you. If you want to quickly learn how to set up a bootstrap template, have a look at our setup video. I'll drop a link below this video as well. I made that one the other day. So we've got a basic template here. What we need to do is copy our code over. Now we don't need that bit because that bit's the link for his other pens. So all we need, well, we'll copy it and just get rid of the bit we don't want. So I'm copying from the beginning of the div to the end of the div there. Control C back to my brackets and let's paste it in. I'll paste it in over that default text there. And I'll just tab that across and tidy it up. And like I said, we don't need that link, the A target blank, because that's just leading to his other things. All we need is that actual word there which is fine. Um, I don't know if I showed you this before, but this is what we're going to try and achieve here. OK, so we've got that in there. Now we need to copy the CSS. Let's see what we've got. That's fine. That's importing the font that's being used here, which is Montserrat. So I'm going to go ahead and Grab the whole lot there. Back to my brackets. And I'll paste it in with the CSS here. Just down below, I'm going to make a space. We've got on page CSS going on here. Quite often I'd have it on a different or separate page. Now we've already got a body tag there, so I'm just going to add that. to our existing one and delete this one. OK, and let's just grab this and tidy it up a little bit, get it all in line with the rest of the CSS there. I'm just selecting it. I'm going to hit tab to pull it across. And we want the title, we want the H1. That's the styling for his button. We don't need that and we don't need that. So I can get rid of all of this right here. Before I do, I'll show you what that's for. So that's just the styling for this little button he's got down here. We do not need that. Well, if you want it, that's fine, but um, I don't believe I need it. So let's just delete that and close the gap. Control S to save. 
And let's go back to our site and refresh. And we've replaced this bit of text here. So let's see what we've got. Bingo, there we are. Uh, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? And that makes a nice little hero section. Of course, you, you don't want code pen on there. So let's make it our own. Let's go back to our brackets and change what we've got going on here. Here it says thanks. Then there's a line break to code pen. Let's write in something of our own. We don't have to capitalize it because it's already uh, got capitalization in the CSS. So that's the first line. I'm going to take that away because I'm going to use another break. Um, let's put in uh, web design. Let's put in another break there for another line. And just ideas. Okay, let's save that and see what we've got. Control S to save, back to the site, refresh. There we go. That's okay, but again, we can we can make it more our own um, by changing the background that they've got there, which is kind of interesting. If you like it, great, keep it. But let's change that background. If we have a look at it in the CSS up here, here it is, and they're using an image from Giphy there, which is quite a cool image. But let's go to Giphy and find one of our own, shall we? So I've already got Giphy up here. There we go. Giphy.com. And let's search something like water. Or smoke or something fluid, something that's going to look nice behind it. Can't remember what I used in that last one. Scroll down something like that would be pretty cool. Use this one right here. I think that's what I used last time. I'm going to open the image in a new tab. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what it's like. It's okay. Now let's get the image address. And what I'm doing, I'm using Google Chrome here. I'm just right clicking on the image and I'm going to go down and say copy image address. And if we go back to our brackets, we can simply paste it in over the old one, which is right here. Control V to paste. There it is. And there's our new image. Control S to save. Let's go back to our site now. Let's see what we've got. There we go. We've got our our own little version there. And you can, of course, go further. You can uh, put put a background image behind here. Looks like looks like the top of this text is slightly cut off there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a flat top on there but uh we can we can fix that easy by giving this section a bit of padding let's just right click and inspect like i say i'm using google chrome here with the fantastic inspector tools so it's on the h1 there yeah and if you look at the yellow lines at the top there that's the margin they're slightly cutting off the top of those twos and s's and things so you don't notice it on the flat tops of the t's and e's so let's add a bit of padding to that. Uh, we'll pretty much give it what they've given it with the, with the margin, which is say 10 pixels top and bottom and zero pixels left and right. There we are, we've got a round edge there now. You see padding 10 and zero. I'm just gonna copy that. Because of course with Chrome Inspector here, F12 or right click and inspect, 
once you refresh it'll go back to how it was it's non-destructive there we are i got those flat tops again there so let's just apply that by adding it to our css here h1 put it under that last entry there i'm just pasting in what i copied from the browser there Control s back to the site quick refresh there we are we've got our curves back fantastic okay um yeah like i say let's let's take it one step further let's put a background image in i didn't do that in this one but we can do it in this one So I'm going to quickly go, I'm going to pause and I'll go to Unsplash or Pixels or somewhere and grab an image quickly. Okay, so I've grabbed myself an image now. It's there. Let's just change this view so you can see it. There we go. It's a sort of sunset thing there. And I've just renamed it BG4. It's a JPEG. Doesn't matter about the size because we're going to tell it to cover. That's actually pretty big. I'd probably reduce that a bit if I was using it on a live site. But uh, for this demonstration, it'll do fine. So let's go to our brackets. And it's our body because all we've got is just we haven't got any sections. So let's do a background image. And I'll leave that background color in there purely because if for some reason the background image doesn't load, it's got a background color to it. And I'll do URL. It's already prompted us down there. Thank you, brackets. And it's found that image because it's in the root folder with our HTML document. So it's found it automatically. If it was in a separate file for images, you'd just have to put dot dot forward slash to find it. But it's found it absolutely fine. OK, and what do we want it to do? We want the uh, background size. We actually want to cover the whole background. So we background size. colon cover so it's going to cover the whole background i think if i left it the size of it we'd only have sort of a corner of it showing and we don't want it to repeat so we'll say background repeat no repeat well it's prompted us again thank you brackets now we might want to if we look at this image i don't know if we want it centered or top well, let's just see what it looks like and then we can we can change where it actually is when we see what's going on with it so let's go back to our website control s to save our brackets back to our website refresh Boom, there's our image. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, I think I might like it to be more of the red over the top of this. So, yeah, let's do the background position. First, I'll try center. Center. Oh, I spelled it right. Control S to save back to the site, and that should shift it so on our screen here everything's positioned centrally. Yeah, that's quite nice actually. I like that. We could put it on the bottom, but I don't think it will improve on that. We'll try that anyway. And the reason we've got a full screen here is if I show you the CSS. Let's look down here. and there we are there's the height 100 vh 100 of the viewable area height so it's basically telling it to be full screen you can take that away i'll just well i'll put in i'll put in say 400 pixels and show you the difference if you had it in a section you'd you'd want to do this no, actual that's just 400 there and because our image is on the body background it's it's showing the full thing again but uh, if we had this within a section 
and that background image and the background image of the section you could put it anywhere on your site not just necessarily in the hero section here so let's go back and change that i'm just going to hit Control z change it back to where it was save and just for argument's sake um, i don't want to roll on too long with this video let's put that to bottom see if it's any better than center oh, I'm pretty sure that center is gonna gonna be smack on really so I'm gonna refresh this will go back down to here okay that didn't go back down to there so let's see what went on there oh I justified the content bottom instead of center okay so what happens when you talk and you code at the same time <laughs> the image is the thing I want to actually put to bottom there we go save back to the site now that should pop down to the middle again and the image will probably pop up a little bit just slightly yes yeah, not not a whole lot well, we got a bit more dark ocean down the bottom there I think I liked it before in the center where that boat was about down here so let's put that back and we'll call this video a day. There we go. Yeah, I quite like that where the boat's a bit lower down. You've got a bit of dark at the top and the bottom. There you go. So thanks go once again to Hakam Abdullah. Thank you very much for supplying this code. Like I say, I'll put this link below. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like I said earlier, if you're interested in web design, have a look down below. We've got some great free courses, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.